Jay Shrek, YourMotorcycleGuys.com. You know, I want to uh, thank everybody for reaching out uh, with the Los Hills Harley-Davidson uh, video. Uh, the response was absolutely unbelievable, and, uh, and I appreciate it, and I'm sure everybody else appreciates it. And uh, what I thought I'd do today is get on the phone and uh, get a hold of William Fisher, Bill Fisher, and he's going to uh, tell us, you know, what's going on up there. How's everything going? I, they're they're operating in, in Glenwood in a uh, in a different building, and uh, so I'm going to get a hold of him. We're going to get an update. And again, I want to appreciate everybody reaching out. It, it meant the world to me, and it meant the world to them. I know it did. Uh, so let's get uh, let's get Bill on the phone. Hey, Bill, this is Jay Shrek, YourMotorcycleGuys.com. Hey, I got uh, I got Bill Fisher on the line. Bill, what's going on up in uh, Los Hills today? Oh, we are surviving. We are actually we're selling bikes, believe it or not. Wow. So you guys aren't at the store now. You're somewhere else. Where are you at? We've relocated to higher ground in the town of Glenwood, Iowa. Uh, we got two temporary locations: one for sales and one for service. We're at, uh, right off the main drag there in Glenwood, 501 South Locust Street. And, uh, yeah, we're selling bikes. Well, how's everybody holding up, man? I know that's been a traumatic experience for, you know, pretty much everybody there. Uh, how's everybody doing? We're doing great. We, uh, we've come together as a team. Um, you know, the most important thing, I think, for us was we got all of the bikes out of the dealership. We started with the customer bikes. We moved them all to higher ground. Uh, the community has been amazing. They've, they've stepped up for us. They've welcomed us to Glenwood. Uh, we have customers daily stopping by, you know, bringing us water, bringing us donuts, bringing us lunches. Man, that's awesome. Amazing. That, that is amazing. So uh, is the water still in the building or how's that? How's that working right now? Is the, is the water came down? The water has receded. As of uh, two days ago, it's out of the building. Um, there's still a couple feet of water to the, on the access road to the building, so we're unable to get all you know our staff down there. But we do have people on site starting the cleanup process. Because uh, you got the bikes out, is everything was everything else still left in the building? Everything else was left. Oh right? wow! All the motor clothes, all the parts and accessories. So we have to go through that stuff yet. Well, man, I, uh, you know, I, I feel for you. I tell you what, that's got to be a traumatic experience. Uh, you know, I did see a quote from Ray, uh, Ray Krogan, the, uh, one of the, one of the owners, uh, who stated that, you know, basically the, the dealership's not the building, right? It's the people in the building, which was an awesome thing to say. It really was. Uh, that was a cool deal because the reality of it is it is, but it's got to be a traumatic experience because that was a beautiful dealership. And, uh, I mean, any word on maybe when you guys can even get in to start the repairs or, you know, what's the scoop? Uh, word is early next week, we believe we can get in to start uh, doing the inventory for the insurance process and start uh, demoing, you know, tearing out the drywall and, uh, and getting her back together probably about a month to six weeks. Well, you know, I, t I tell you what, it's really cool to see the community getting together and, and even the response that we've had uh, here with the video uh, was really cool. And, uh, you know, I, I, I hope that uh, now, now if somebody wanted to buy a bike from the east or west coast, uh, can they still fly into Omaha? Could they actually ride that bike home? I mean, can you do business, you know, uh, on the coast? We do business on the coast quite often. Fly into Omaha, Epley Airfield. Uh, we even ship it. Well, that's cool. I'll tell you what, I you know, I hope everybody reaches out and we appreciate the fact that you guys have stayed strong. Uh, are you, st you, you have that awesome concert every year. Uh, any thought process? Are you going to, guys, going to try to still be able to get that concert going on? Yeah, that's our rally in the hills. It's a big party. It's usually right at the beginning of riding season. Everyone's always looking forward to it. Um, our owner says it's a go, uh, so we're going to do it. You know, we, we, we made it through this flood. We can sure pull off a party. 
Absolutely. Hey, if there, if I, if, if I would, I'd like to call you next week so we can make sure we keep everybody informed on what's going on up there. If that's not a problem, and if you need anything from us down here, please give us a buzz. And uh, I want to thank everybody. And uh, it's awesome to see that uh, your entire team uh, is a Harley Davidson dealerships pulling together, and it's awesome. And I appreciate you, man. Thank you. I appreciate you, Jeff. Thanks for reaching out. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. Bye. You know, one thing about uh, what's going on up there is that, uh, you know, the dealership's only a small small part of the uh, uh, of what's really going on up there. The whole state is in dire need. And, you know, we, we like to help out as much as we can, especially the motorcycle community being so tight-knit. And there will be a big party up there, so you don't want to miss that. I'll keep you informed on that. Uh, but, you know, the whole state is really, uh, both states are in, in, a, in, a, in a state of disrepair. So any help that you can give any of those people up there uh, would be much appreciated. And, uh, you know, as the motorcycle community, we stay strong and we stand strong. Jace Rec, your motorcycleguys.com. Let's go ahead and buy some bikes today. Damn. Summer's coming.